Hi everyone, a few days ago I bought this light bulb to replace one of the bulbs that I had in my home that burned out and I wasn't planning to make a video on it but before mounting it when I brought it home I noticed one of the signs on the packaging which was this 24 hours which is crossed and then I realized that there is a warning on the label that says that this light is suitable for maximum use of 10 to 12 hours daily usage of the product for 24 hours per day would avoid the warranty that led me questioning why is that so so i wanted to learn more so in this video we will take this bulb apart and we'll try to understand how it works and maybe even understand why it can work for 24 hours so the bulb is 60 watts equivalent so it's 8.5 watts led light with from a relatively reputable company uh, where i live so it, it's not it's still a chinese lamp but it's from a company that usually makes some good quality lights i have one from the same company that i once repaired and i still use it today so you can find that video here uh, but it should be a relatively good lamp now let's open it up and see what's inside and maybe even try to understand why the limit is there in the first place and here is the bulb taken apart i guess that voids my warranty now but anyway if you are careful when removing this you can still reattach uh, the diffuser on top and you can still use the bulb as is i'm gonna try to power it on i have a socket here and i'll connect it to uh, to mains using my power meter and we can see that immediately when I connect this bulb it starts drawing 10 watts although it says that it draws 8.5 on the box which means that this bulb is running at a much higher current than it was supposed to be so maybe that explains why we have the uh, 24 hour warning because that lamp will probably overheat very fast as it runs the power consumption goes down a bit and that's probably because the chip inside has a thermal regulation i looked up the chip on the on the board it's uh, bp5218 and it's chip made by uh, bright power semiconductor which is a chinese company and i was able to actually find a data sheet for the chip and you can see here this is the website of the manufacturer which is bright power semiconductor and the chip is bp 5218 f there are actually two variants with a different um, efficiency this one is the more efficient from what i can see it's about 84 percent efficient which is quite good but uh, still it the overdrives the leds and that will probably limit the life cycle of the LEDs. So we can see here, let's open that up on a bigger screen. Uh, it's a high precision, no flickering linear LED driver. So it does everything on its own and it's a bit different from what I've seen before. Here we have the typical application, which is basically exactly the same as we have on the board. We have the bridge rectifier, on the input we have this diode which is this one here uh, that then goes to the led string and we have a capacitor across that with its discharge resistor and we have two sense current sensor resistors that are on the um pin one and pin uh, actually pin two and pin four those are rs1 and rs2 and we also have two other resistors uh, which are rvd1 and rvd2 those are the the ones on the right and this is a bit different than what i've seen before usually we have an inductor and that basically drives the circuit as a buck converter but this one does everything internally and somehow it manages to find to set the current through the leds based on these two resistors unfortunately the data sheet does not say uh, the values for those resistors. The ones that we currently have are this ones. So for the RS1, we have 20 ohms. For the RS2, we have 8.2 ohms. And the RVD1 is 390 kilo ohms. And the RVD2 is 1.3 mega ohms. So somehow, using those four resistors it knows what current to 
drive the LEDs on. On the second connector here, there is an um, electrolytic capacitor that's behind. It's uh, 4.7 microfarads, uh, 400 volts, and there is a 510 kilo ohm resistor across it to basically discharge it and to um, shunt any leakage current that um, should prevent any uh, like um, slight glowing of the LEDs. Unfortunately, because we don't have the data sheet entirely to know how those values interact with the current, uh, we're gonna have to stop here and basically hope for the best that this bulb will eventually last long enough for its purpose. I don't plan to have it on all the time because I'm gonna use it in the hallway that goes to my basement and that should be only temporarily on. So. Let's hope for the best and we'll see how that lasts. In other type of LED lights, so this one is the one that we have here and this one is another one, uh, which is 11 watts. The typical arrangement is a bit different than what we have on this one, where here we have two resistors in parallel that are connected with one pin on the chip that controls the current through the LEDs. So one of them is used to generally set the value and the other one is for fine tuning. Because there are two of them, we can remove one of them and usually we can make the light run on a much smaller current. And I was hoping that I'll find a similar range in this one and I'll make it to run on much lower current. Unfortunately, that's not the case, but since I have this one open, let's try and modify that one and we'll see if that will be successful or not. So here's this one running. It's currently drawing 11 watts and we can see that it's really bright. Let's see if we remove one of those resistors. Let's see what will happen with the current. So the two resistors that we have here are marked as 3R90, which is 3.9 ohms. And the other one is 4R30, which is 4.3 ohms. And together, since they're both in parallel, they're making about uh, two and a half uh, ohms. Now, to slightly reduce the power that this light bulb is consuming, I'll remove the larger one, so the 4.3 ohms, so I'll be left with 3.9, which should be more than enough. And to do that, I'll use just a pair of snips to basically destroy this one resistor. And I'm being careful not to destroy the other one. You can try to unsolder this, but since this is a aluminum substrate board, it will be difficult to do so. Okay, so you can see here, I've basically cut one of the resistors and it's currently the 3.9 ohms that we have there. We can measure that. Okay, so 4.6. Yeah, let's see what happens. Okay, the light still works. And the current that it now runs is at, actually the wattage that it now runs, it's uh, around six watts. You can see that and it fluctuates between six watts and 5.4 which is half of the rating that it had before. And we still have plenty of light output, but now that light bulb will last for ages. Because now, instead of running at 11 watt, it runs at, at half that watt, at around 5.5, 6 watts. And that means that the current that runs through the LEDs is half of what it originally used to be. And this is a common thing that you can do on light bulbs that are using this style of LED chips where you have two resistors in parallel. Unfortunately, this one is a bit different. It's the first time that I see this one. If you have any idea on how we can modify this to adjust the current, then be sure to let me know down in the comments. And if you thought that this video is interesting, then be sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. In the meantime, 
you can see some of my LED repairs here and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.